It's a good day to ship something on Laravel Cloud, so why don't we do that together? Let's use one of the new starter kits. I'm gonna be using the Livewire Flavor, and we'll just push it straight to Laravel Cloud as is, and then maybe make some changes later. But for now, let's start the clock. So let's start off with Laravel New. So I'm just gonna say Laravel New, and we're gonna call this Ship to Cloud. I'm gonna use the Livewire Starter Kit. We're going to use Laravel's built-in authentication. Uh, we're not really gonna be testing, but I'll choose Pest for this. And then this is up to you how you want to actually get this into a Git repository. I'm gonna be using GitHub for this. Of course, we could do this all in the GitHub CLI, which is fantastic, but I'm just gonna use the UI. So while that is um, downloading, I'm going to create a new UI. It looks like I can actually run npm install there. We're gonna create a new Git repository. I'm just gonna call this, let's say this is ship to cloud. I'm going to set that to myself. It's a public repo and let's go ahead and create it. And so then we just have to push an existing repository from the command line. Of course, we can also do this if we need to initially a new um, a new repo. I'm just going to copy this and just initialize it myself in the command line. So we can cd into ship to cloud. I can say git init and then I'm just going to uh, add this all. And before I push, I need to make sure I add everything. Make a new commit. Say this is initial commit and now we'll push and be good to go. So if I go back into my GitHub repo, I should see my new Laravel install, and then we should be good to push this into Laravel Cloud. But just to make sure everything's up and running properly, I'm just going to run composer dev. This is that one command to get uh, NPM up and running, to get PHP artisan serve up and running, and any queues or anything that you might be using in terms of logging. So it has Laravel pale automatically hooked up as well. Open this up and there we go. We have the new Laravel 12 welcome screen for us. I could register a new account and we're up and running. So this is using Flux UI for the Livewire version and then the React and Vue versions use ShadCN and ShadCN UI Vue, the port of ShadCN UI. So why don't we deploy this? Cloud.laravel.com. I'm going to sign in using my account. So let's go ahead and ship this. So I'm going to click new application and then I'm going to select your source control provider. I have have my GitHub account already associated, but you can click add account and add whatever Git repository or account that you have for yourself. I'm going to select the repository, ship to cloud. I can type that in, we're good to go. And we're going to select US East because that is the closest to myself. And that way we can get it closest to probably what my users would be, new application. And then this is going to set everything up for us because uh, we need a database because we have some users. I'm going to add that now. So we're just going to create a new database cluster. We'll call this ship to cloud. And yeah, all that looks good. We'll create that database cluster. And now that's been created, let's go ahead and click save. And, and we should be good to go. The only thing I need to change is to make sure that I'm migrating my database. So um, in our settings, in our uh, deployments, I want to make sure that PHP Artisan migrate force. And since we've connected a database, that is already good to go. So that's all we need. Uh, if I go into my environment, I click deploy, we should be up and running in just a matter of seconds. That's how easy it is to take one of the new starter kits and get this deployed on Laravel Cloud with minimal effort. It's going to be up and running for us. We can log into our accounts we can register new users, we can start making changes and automatically have those changes that we push to our GitHub repository actually be reflected in the live state. The cool thing is there's additional options that Laravel Cloud provides, including being able to create new branches and environments and having those changes be separate from your main branch. So looks like that just finished deploying. I can go ahead and visit and Here's our welcome page, ready to go. So if I was to click uh, register, now I have uh, my name.com and we'll just create a password here. 
and now we're up and running. So we have a database already connected. We have our um, our starter kit for our Livewire starter kit up and running on Laravel Cloud. Why don't I make a change? We'll push it, but then I'll create a new branch and make a different change for that. Let's jump back into our actual code editor. We actually haven't even opened it up yet. All right, so let's go ahead and maybe I'll just open it up and make a change and push that so that we can see that change maybe in the dashboard itself. I want to say, um, hmm, maybe instead of these placeholders, I want to just say, uh, hi there, you too. And we'll, we'll put that in a paragraph. Perfect. And then why don't we also change the layout? So in the layouts.app, we have x layouts.app.sidebar, but instead I want this to be a header layout. So it's as simple as doing this. And so in our layouts app, we have a sidebar or a header layout. And so I should be good to go from there. If I was to open up I was to go ahead and open up our local server, go back into our dashboard. Now we have our header. It's working, we have our change, but let's get this pushed into Laravel Cloud. So we're just going to do a simple git add, a git commit of hi there YouTube, and a git push. And so that's going to be automatically deployed to Laravel Cloud. We can even see that uh, in our dashboard right here. If I was to pull open our Laravel Cloud dashboard, we see in our environment, a new deployment is starting right now. But while that's deploying, let's create a new branch, get something different changed. So let's go ahead and say, I get checkout dash B and we'll just call this um, new. So we have a new branch that we're working on. I'm gonna open up my code editor for this. And in our dashboard, I just wanna say, hi there, YouTube. This is a completely different branch. And then we'll go ahead and save that there. So git commit of a new branch update, git push, and we're gonna set up a new origin for that. But now, how do we tell Laravel Cloud we want to use that new branch in a new environment? Well, it's as simple as actually telling Laravel Cloud. So we're gonna create a new environment. It automatically is going to pull down the branches that we have available. We want that new branch. We're gonna select that environment name of new, give it a new color, new environment, and we're off to the races. The cool thing is you can have different environments use different resources, whether it uses a different database, a different cache, a different bucket. We're just gonna add the same ship to cloud database, uh, but we're gonna call this the, the new database on the ship to cloud resource. So that's been updated. We'll go ahead and click save. And then Laravel automatically, Laravel cloud automatically uses the configuration settings that we need to connect to that database. We're in our new environment. We're going to deploy, but before we that finishes, we can automatically go back into our main branch, visit it, and now in our dashboard, we have, hi there, YouTube with our header settings. Incredibly simple as that, but once we get back into our new environment, this is going to be finishing up deployment. We can take a look at this right here. Okay, it's finished building, and now it's going to be finished deploying. Of course, we could make a number of changes in order to see those reflected live in Laravel Cloud. We could add a cache, we could add a bucket if we needed to, but it looks like this is all ready to go. We're going to register because it's a new database, so I can use my existing email address. And now, this is a completely different branch. All of this can be added with custom domains, but if you are on the sandbox plan within Laravel Cloud, you can do all of this for free, just paying for compute costs, and all with the Laravel Cloud domains, so laravel.cloud. Shipping to cloud, especially with the new starter kits, becomes effortless. You can get started by just typing Laravel new or cloning one of the starter kits repos. 
We can't wait to see what you build, what you create, what you ship on Laravel Cloud.